to Misha Crossing here. Let's listen to Pete for a second here. Ah, hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. Okay. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? When you have mail, you'll see a blinking sign like you see now. That's how you'll know. Well, I've got to get moving. I'll see you later. Cool. Thank you, Pete. Let's see what we have in the mail. From an unknown sender. How mysterious. To Misha. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but the one but one thing led to another. And now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Ah, uh, that's so... I always wonder who, um... That came from. So, I don't know what happened to them. Um, or who they are. It's an interesting little thing that I always forget about in this game is that there was someone who was supposed to be the mayor and now it's all up to me. Um, but hello, welcome to day two of Animal Crossing New Leaf. What up? We've got uh, Kodama here with Mayor Misha in her just brand spanking new outfit that we love just so much on uh, her little tent house up here in the wilderness. I'm loving it. Um, whenever I, hello Pete, whenever I loaded the game, Isabel said um, that she needs to tell me what my mayoral, is that a word? My duties as mayor entails, so to meet her, um, go to the town hall and sit in the mayor's chair to hear what being mayor entails, so I'm about to go and do that. Oh, hello. I'll talk to you later. I promise. Gotta go learn what, what I'm doing as mayor. Oh, my first floating present and I don't have a slingshot. How sad. Oh, somebody new is moving to town. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia. Is she the kangaroo? I think she's the kangaroo. Cool. This is gonna be exciting playing a game and not, um, not cheating. I might, uh, let these two eventually move out because they're right in front of the town hall, but I'm okay with them for now. <laughs> Let's go see what Isabel has to say to us. Oh, hello, good morning, or good afternoon. So let's sit back here. Oh, Mayor Misha, have you settled in and finished unpacking? Mmm, not yet. I've got a lot more things to do. I understand, it's a lot of work. My bedroom is still full of unpacked cardboard boxes and I feel like I've lived there for ages. Oh, sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room for just this reason. Ahem, <clears throat> right, uh, I was going to tell you about the town hall. Okay, for starters, the area where I usually stand is the service counter. It's the hub for all Kodama information. I provide a variety of services at the service counter, such as giving people advice for living in the town, I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag and report on citizenship, citizen satisfaction. <laughs> However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor, after all. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as mayor. Ah! I almost forgot. Before you can start laying out your vision for Kodama, you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Sounds good. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Misha. <laughs> well, look, your mayoral instincts must be really good because you're already sitting in the mayor's chair. Well, you told me to, but okay. When you want to work on official mayoral business, I cannot say that word, God. Just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Are you overly busy right now? Hi, Mayor Misha. Let me guess, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit? Yes, ma'am. Well then, let me explain the prerequ prerequisites for the permit. I cannot pronounce anything. First requirement is that you own a house in town. Check. Oh, what? You're still in a tent, so you'll need to put together the down payment for a house first. Okay, I can do that. Okay, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of the citizens, and that is the biggest hassle <laughs> of the beginning of this game. 
In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to a preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 10%. The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating, so let's make that our goal. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. I can also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. Good luck, Mayor Misha. All right. Um, so yeah, we should get started on getting the town permit. I might not get to 100% today. I don't know. Um, I have gotten it in one day before, but most of the times I've played, it's taken me a couple of days. Um, but for right now, I think I'm going to start getting some money to pay Tom Nook. And to do that, I am going to collect some fruit and sell it at retail. And probably collect some shells as well from the beach. Let's go and... Why do I have those in my pockets? Oh yeah, because... <laughs> They were where my house was going to go, and I did not want to ruin any flowers. I want to keep all flowers that I can. <clears throat> oh, and I'll pick weeds. That improves your, your rating. Oh, I'll give Sylvia some flowers for when she moves in. Give you some red flowers. Right here. There you go. Alright. Nice little welcome present. There's a lot of apple trees right here. Yeah, so to get the town approval rating, um, it, like I said, it might take a while. Uh, the big things to do are like watering flowers, picking uh, weeds, and I think the first time you donate something to the museum you get some points, and... Every time you do a favor for a villager, you get some points, so it might take just a little- uh, sorry, it might just take a little bit of time um, to get there since I don't have a lot of villagers, but we will do what we can, you know? That's all we can- all we can do. So let's collect some apples. I saw a couple villagers down there. Oh, there's Mitzi. Pick up this apple. Let's talk to Mitzi. Hello. Oh, Mitzi. What in the world am I doing? This is Olivia. <laughs> I'm the worst. We haven't met yet, have who's Mitzi is a cat. Okay, so I'm not completely bonkers. We haven't met yet, have we? Well, not formally anyway, but I know who you are, Mayor. Remember your first day here in Kodama? I was here when you arrived. It was quite an event. Yeah, that was yesterday, I, I do recall. Our town has already gotten lovelier since then. You're having a wonderful effect on our town. My name is Olivia, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with Kodama. Aw, what a cute pie. Thank you, baby. Let's see who else is down here. Tammy. Hiya, Miss Mayor. My name is Tammy. It's so cool that we have such a cool mayor. No joke. I'd do anything to make sure Kodama is on the list of hot spots around here, Chimpy. Thank you. Such nice, nice villagers I live with here. Hey there, Mayor. My name is Al. Nice to meet you. Eh. Uh, eh. <laughs> um, is it okay if I just call you Misha? Calling someone Mayor all the time makes me feel like I'm in trouble. Besides, you look like a girl who has a lot of fun. Eh. We can eat snacks and drink juice and be merry and stuff. Three of my favorite things. Man, those are three of my, like, definite top favorite things. Let me tell ya. What other... Well, I have somebody else to meet. Peck. I have to meet Peck. I'll go, uh, go on down across the river soon. And meet Peck, hopefully. Uh, it's gonna be nice as soon as I can install a bridge. I didn't... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's just gonna be a couple of days of walking all the way around to go to my house or go to the other side. So I'm pretty much just going to be filling my pockets with apples, I think, in order to pay off my loan. And seashells. And let's see if we can find Peck on our apple gathering quest. Oh, I hear a, a thing. A bug. A cicada. Er, that wasn't a cicada, but that was some sort of bug. 
Maybe Peck is home. Peck, are you home? <gasps> yes, you are. Let's go see. I like his house. It's a cool exterior combination. Come on, Peck. Hello. Interesting abode here. Not my personal taste, but you know, I can respect it. Hey, Madam Mayor. I'm Peck. My hobby is training my bod. I thought he said training his bed. I was like, I like my bed to be nice and fully trained too. Mayors need plenty of physical stamina, right? If I were you, I'd train like crazy, crunch. <laughs> interesting, yeah, interesting design. He at least has plants. I like the plants. And the classic bed and clock. Take that. What song is playing? Forest Life. That's a good one. Alright, we've met Peck. Let's continue, continue onward. And we should be close to the beach down here. There's a ramp over here. We'll go and get some seashells. But first, more apples. Oh, so many apples. My gracious. Okay, so I'll get a few seashells. I can't wait to have palm trees on the beach. One day. One day we'll have some palm trees. Okay, I want seashells. And I can't wait to go fishing, fill my encyclopedia, donate everything to the museum. I think I'm gonna try to do that um, in this game, in this town, is to fill my encyclopedia slash um, fill the museum as well. I think that'll be fun. I don't think... I think I did in City Folk, maybe? No, I did in Wild World. I filled my museum completely. Um, but I don't think I ever have filled a museum in New Leaf, and I really want to do that. Okay, we can drop it. It's fine. We're gonna go back up and go to retail and sell some stuff, and then we'll go check in with Tom Nook and see what our house payment is totaling. Because yesterday he said he couldn't come up with an exact figure. Oh, this little pond, so serene. Let's go check out retail. Wonder what could be happening in here. Oh look! Surprise! Timmy! This is Reese. Bam! I have something I'd like to sell. Oh, hello Timmy. What did you bring for me today? <laughs> I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Okay, I can take it off your hands for 175 bells. Or you could set your own price and put it in the back for somebody else to buy. Which would you like? Nah, that amount is completely fine. I'd much rather sell it outright. It's just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay, understood. Here they go, trading goods for monies. Thank you! With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so many, so very many things. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Of course! Well then, I'll be off. Ah, hello. We haven't met yet. My name's Timmy, my brother, um, and I run a shop in the shopping district called Nookling Junction. If you have time, stop by our shop sometime. I'm pleased to have made your acquaintance. Good to meet you. Well, I will, I just will do that. A little Tammy Tammy. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Welcome to the recycle shop, retail. Oh my, would you happen to be the new mayor? I'm so happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. We'll also pay premium for any high value items listed on the board in front of the shop. In addition to selling to us outright, you can set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So, Mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for a fair price. Well, I have some things for a fair price for you. Yes, I would like to sell. I brought in all of these beautiful things that you will see so very many of in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> Start crunching the numbers right away. Ooh, yes, that sounds great. 4,620 bells for all that. Deal a rooney. We got some stuff. There's already a piece of the cardboard furniture in here? What? 
cardboard closet. Yeah, I will snatch that right on up. So that is um, kind of a rare set. And I'm gonna get a bet because I want a bet. Oh, also from Grizzly. Yes, 120 bells, that's, that's a bargain. And I want a plant. I really like plants. I love all the plants in the game. I'm also going to try to fill, um... What am I talking about? My catalog? At least my... Nookling, um, like furniture cat. No, I'm gonna try to fill the whole catalog. I'm just gonna buy everything I see. Pretty much. I'm just gonna buy all the things. Okay. I'm just gonna buy everything, which it's a good, um, I guess, process to have, especially at the beginning of the game, just buying everything you see um, in the Nookling store because it will help you get points there faster so that it will upgrade faster because that's the biggest um, requirement is that you spend a certain amount of bells in order to upgrade to the next store. Um, so just buying everything in the store every day is the best way to do that. There's a bulletin on here. Let's see what it says. With limited time offer today from 7 p.m., all items in the store will be half price. What a deal. Why not come on down? Nookling Junction. And yesterday, Kodama announces that Mayor Misha has assumed the role of town mayor. Let's look forward to her plans to enliven the town. Ah, and then just tells us how to use the memo board to write a memo. This bulletin board is for posting, for the postings of important town announcements. I'm sure there will be some not so important town announcements on there eventually. So now let's go check out Main Street. Let's see what Tom Nook has to tell us about the money that we owe him. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Misha, yes, yes, welcome. Have you finished everything you needed to move in? I have, I have, of course, completed running the numbers on your home loan, Misha. Yes, yes. Now, let us discuss the cost. You know, Misha, we can't build you a house unless you have all the necessary costs covered. Hmm? So, the down payment is nothing more than a paltry 10,000 bells. I only have 1,500 right now, so that seems ridiculous. I cannot afford that. No, no, that's fine. You're fine. You don't need to worry about giving me a single bell at this point in time. I'm quite a generous raccoon. My heart is about the size of a four-bedroom, two-bath duplex. Hmm. That being said, I do need your down payment before any work can be done on your home, okay? But do not worry. No, no, this town is rich in crops and other resources. You'll find it's easy to earn money. You can collect fruit and seashells and take them to the recycling shop to earn quick cash, yes? Hey, that's what I just did. I was one step ahead of you there, Mr. Nook. Once you've saved a bit, buying a net or fishing rod at the store is a good idea as well. It is indeed. You can use such tools to go forth and catch insects and fish to sell too. An easy path to riches. Hmm. Much faster than searching for low-paying part-time employment. Yes? Oh, yes, yes. Haha. -ha. That's a reference to the earlier games. How funny. So come and see me right away when you've saved up 10,000 bells. Good luck, good luck. All right. Oh, look at all these exteriors they've got. I love the uh, garden exterior back there. One of my faves. Wish I could buy it, but I can't. Thanks much. All right, so we are gonna hop over to Nookling Junction and buy us whatever they've got for sale over there. Especially some tools. Okay, good. Uh, no fishing rod. That's a bummer. Could it be? This is your first time in our humble establishment? Ooh, you've already met my older brother, Timmy. I hope you treat us both kindly. Please do. Our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's rather a, a rather teeny shop, but please relax and enjoy shopping. Take your time. Alrighty, I'm going to buy your net and your shovel. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I know how to use it, but thank you. Yes, I will also buy your shovel so I can dig up all of the fossils and mysterious hollow-eyed wooden creatures that are buried around town. And I'll go ahead and buy 
The mem min minimalist mini table. Oh gosh, no I will not. Never mind. I do not have the money. I will not. Once I, uh, once I pay off my down payment, I guess I should prioritize. Once I pay off my home, then I can start spending a lot of money at, uh, the Nookling Junction. And we're not even going to stop in to see the Able Sisters yet. We don't need any of that stuff just yet. And no reason to go into the museum yet either. Once we've got something to bring him, we will. And we don't need to go into any of the other places on Main Street yet either. So let's just go back on down. I'm definitely going to pay off my home today and then probably call it quits. So I need to collect more apples and things. Any bugs I happen to find, anything buried in the ground. There's more apples. Oh, there's a perfect apple. I think I might we'll plant the perfect apple tree up here. Where should I plant the perfect apple tree? In front of the town hall, maybe? Or the train station, maybe? Or beside, beside the town hall would be good. Who knows if someone's gonna move in on top of it? I think beside the town hall here. Bury here. Bury the perfect apple. It will become a little perfect apple tree in no time. Let's see if we can find the- oh! Gotta catch it, gotta catch it, gotta catch it! Got it. I caught a pill bug! I don't know. It seems nice to me. I wonder what my encyclopedia has to say about my new catch. I'm not gonna see what my encyclopedia has to say. I am perfectly content without knowing. Let's see if any of these rocks is the gym rock or the money rock. I do not need that pill bug again. He is... I'm gonna donate the first one to the museum, obviously, but they are not worth any money. So... I'm not gonna try to catch too many of them. Alright, I'm just going to be collecting fruit for a little bit, so I'm probably going to cut out and come back whenever I'm done with that, but I will show um, any significant moments in between now and then. Like, let's see if this is anything. Oh, it's the money rock. I should have... Uh, should have buried a hole behind me. Alright, I got all but one. All but the, the thousand bells. I'm okay with that. So... If this is your first time watching Animal Crossing New Leaf being played, or you just happen to not know, um, every day there will be a rock in town, or everything but the 10,000 bells is what I got, um, which puts me so much closer to paying off my house. So never mind, um, I'm not gonna cut away. Um, but there is a rock in the game that is called the Money Rock that will just shoot out bells at you. Um, I think it's something like um, 20, or not 20, but like 17,000 if you bury a hole behind you because you can't pause at all um, when you're hitting the rock. So, but you notice like when I was hitting the rock, it kept scooting me back. So you can't scoot back in order to get all the money. Um, so if you bury a hole behind you, you don't scoot back at all, and you can get the full amount of money. I got all but the last bag of 10,000 bells. And now I'm going to sell Reese a lot of things. Not all the things, but a lot of the things. Let's see, now I'm keeping the cardboard closet, and I'm going to keep the bed, I'm going to keep the coconut palm, but I'm going to sell everything else except for the pill book and my tools. Okay. This is everything. Perfect. 
1600 that gives me a little that gives me enough for my house payment and just a little left over perfect I bet Tom Nook is gonna be surprised to see us so freaking early he literally just told us about all the different things that we could do to earn money and now we've already made 10,000 bells he doesn't know about the money rock if he knew about the money rock he would be like oh he'd be all over that He'd be collecting it, trademarking it, <laughs> somehow, some way, he would own it. Welcome, welcome. Yes, yes, how may I help you? Down payment. Oh, that hurts, handing over almost all my money. Yes, yes, exactly 10,000 bells, that does make me rather happy. I bet it does. Very good, very good. The money makes everything official, and work on your house can begin at once. You can also choose the color of your newly built home's roof. So, what color will it be, hmm? Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with a classic, just a classic red roof. So you'd like a red roof, hmm? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, got it. I'll make sure your house- oh, I didn't even read all of that, I'm terrible. Um, what else to tell you? Oh, yes, yes, of course. I must tell you about the home remodeling. Once your house is finished, I can help you update the exterior. The exterior of your home consists of the things on the outside, such as your roof, door, and fence. Every day I will display new samples here to look through, so you should come when you've grown curious. Well, for the moment, you must be looking forward to tomorrow, yes? Thanks much. I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow. I have an actual house instead of a little tent. Ta -da -da -da! Woo! I paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my home tomorrow. Sorry that the display goes a little dim every once in a while. That's just me. Um, not paying attention to my computer. Alright, so I think I am going to go put some of this furniture in my house. And then call it a day. It's been a day, hasn't it? You know, we've collected, shaken so many trees for so many apples. We've collected seashells. We've learned about what our duties as mayor will entail. We've, oh, just paid the down payment on our house. Bought some furniture. My goodness. Well, let's see, that's not a pitfall, is it? Nope. Let's see what's buried under here. Ooh, a fossil. I'll have to go and get those checked out. We can do that tomorrow. We'll take a little trip to the, our first trip to the museum to get the give the pill bug and get the fossil examined. Oh, that was a pitfall. Ha ha! He tried to trick me. Thought I was gonna try to go down to the beach and fall into your fall into your trap, but no, no. I'm too smart for that. Clearly. All right, so let's go put our two, three pieces of furniture in our house. Such a- oh! Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Look who it is. Little Jingle Bell. Wow, so exciting. It's just like your camping, isn't it? It reminds me a lot of my childhood. Everyone would get all worked up and we'd roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We'd always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something? That just made it extra delicious. <gasps> oh no, I've gotten all carried away again. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Misha, I brought you something nice. It's a lantern. I thought you'd seen one somewhere. Or I thought I'd seen one somewhere. So I searched through the storage closet at the town hall, and sure enough, it was there. I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. If you tap the briefcase, I guess, on the lower screen and press X, you can see what's inside your pockets. From there, select the lantern, choose display to set it in the room. Can you please get it out for me? Well, that's a lot of pressure, but I suppose so. Display the lantern. Yes, just like that. Next, face the lantern and press A to turn the light on. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, oh I did it. I did it. Since it was so old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. Oh, what else? Well, if you face the lantern and hold A down while using the trackpad, no, that's not the trackpad, the circle pad, it will move backward or forward or rotate in any direction you like. Please put it wherever you want. Oh, is it a little too bright outside to need the lantern on right now? If you don't need the lights on, just press A again to turn it off. Press Y if you want to put it back in your pockets. Well, that's all for me this time. Sorry to barge in on you like this. I'll be taking my leave now. 
Good. All right, so we'll move that. Eh, right there might be fine. We'll see. Put the bed right here. No, I didn't. That's not the way I want it orientated. I think I'll put the the plant over here. Coconut palm. Push. Actually, let's push the lantern on down here a little bit. And then we'll put the cardboard closet up there. All right, we got a good little. I will turn the the lantern off though, because I'm about to take a little nap, rest rest my my head, rest my head, rest my eyes for a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there. It's been a good one. It's been productive. We've paid off our our home, so I'll get a nice little house tomorrow with a red roof. I'm excited for that and excited to see Sylvia move in and I will get started on my town development permit tomorrow. Um, yeah, I can't get the town development permit until tomorrow anyways because I have to have my house because that's like 50% of the approval rating um, is getting a house. Oh, so <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my gosh. I hope you all have enjoyed this. Um, I've got a lot of positive feedback on it so far. Thank you all so much for that. Uh, let me know any suggestions you have for how to, I don't know, orchestrate the episodes or any other games I should play or any other styles of videos I should do. I will definitely be doing some Dream Town, more Dream Town tours um, once I unlock the Dream Suite with this um, so you all can see me explore some new places. But uh, thank you all for watching. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.